Hey miners and miners to be, it's Joel from AA Mining, aka Ando Evolution Australia. Thought I'd make a quick video for everyone uh, in regards to thermal pad thicknesses. A lot of people have been asking questions like specifically what thickness do I need for my graphic card because who wants to pull their graphic card apart, measure the thickness and then order it online whilst waiting for the new thermal pads to arrive so that you can reduce the VRAM temps. There's actually two sites that provide the necessary links or information. Not all of it is there, but there is the potential to actually add into it. So we'll start off with uh, Nice Ash. Like I, I don't prefer or care, but it's good that they've actually had this blog because this is something I wanted to try to do, but uh, did not have the manpower to actually get this sorted in the time frame they did. So theirs is specifically on the 3080, 3090s, and it's coming down. It doesn't seem to be as detailed as the next one I'll show you, but it does give you an outlay of what sizes it was potentially were. People were me measured them. Uh, these weren't confirmed by NiceHash either. It was through Reddit posts that they sourced these, um, and they do give reference to that at the bottom. But as you can see, it's showing like different uh, thicknesses, and obviously there is the potential that for your VRAM and the other chips that the thicknesses will vary. Um, I found that out as well, just doing like laptops and such, that thicknesses aren't always consistent. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention as well, for me personally, I like to put my pads on there and if I'm, even afterwards, I'll screw it all down, make sure it's all compressed nicely and then I'll unscrew them all and then quickly take it off to check to see if there's any contact with certain spots, make sure everything has made contact and if there is too much contact on others because sometimes excessive contact, either like big indentations can actually cause uh, warping of the fins. So that's what I've heard and it can actually lead to other uh, issues down the road. So you kind of want to make sure you get contact on the thermal pad with the chips to the fins, but you don't want so much that it's compressing it insanely. Compression is good. You need to, comp you need compression, but again, too much can be negative. Um, and here, so that's where they've got their contributions from. So they're nice hash discord and Reddit users. Now, so that's theirs for the 3080, 3090s. Now, this one, I actually really like how they've done this. It's actually just thermalpad.eu, and they've got a database. And they've got each individual one. Like, obviously, you can tell that there is more than an EVGA 3060, and likewise for the TIs. So they have the option that you can actually add in your details. So to give you perspective, I think it's 3090s have the most. Yeah. So, you, like, I, I don't see the... PNYs or any of those, but like you can obviously add in. Uh, so I'll just click into one to give you perspective of the whole thing. So as you can tell, like they've got VRAM front, they've actually gone to the details of like measurements and people have obviously submitted this through showing where the, those sizes were. Oh, shit, yep. Once the uh, images all load. So you as a user who might have a card that's not on there, you can uh, order those and actually put them in and then like upload it to this database, which then allows everyone else to kind of get the same. And as you can tell, this person's gone into a great lot of detail. I'm not sure if they've sent the photo as is or they've edited it themselves to send to the person. But as you can tell, they've got all that, provided enough information, plenty of photos. And then there's the size guide and then you can watch the replacements. So some, some of them actually have videos, which is pretty sick. But as you can tell, there is a lot of information more so than what you would have just seen on nice hash and they also talk about this whole part which is from the website as well as your own personal experiences you've got to do your own research no one takes responsibility for you incorrectly installing thermal pads too thick or too thin and causing hardware failure or overheating straight away that's that's up to you to discern if it's the right size now the here again they talk about the sizes find from various sources, most of them reported by his clients or their clients, sorry. And that they're with high quality aftermarket pads, getting significant results in temperature jobs. So some of these from random users and websites like Reddit, YouTube, or official slash unofficial forums. So it, it more than likely will be the exact size you need. But again, you just want to make sure that you've got the right ones. And this is probably the website to go. And if you're still unsure, and you're in the whole crypto mining business, having one size of each thickness isn't necessarily a bad thing because if you're gonna have multiple cards 
And when you go to do maintenance on your cards, pads and paste become something of a common occurrence. So having a variety of sizes is very handy to have. Um, I don't suggest necessarily stacking thermal pads together, but like if that's what you got, by all means, go for it. Uh, and yeah, so there you go. You can actually, I'll go to another page for it. Make it size, no contact. So all you got to do is just click contact. Uh, and as you can see here, it says, do not find a database. Feel free to submit thermal pad pads, sizes, and GPU. So I think you just put all your details there. And then you can just say, yep, I've, I have this card. This is the size I use. And I'm guessing from there, they'll contact you with more information, like in regards to photos and such, so they can add it to this database. And I, I believe that this one has the potential to be a really good one, like amazingly. Mm -hmm. And with that, that's probably about all I have for information for thermal pads and sizes. Sorry, I don't have every single one, but it is what it is. And like with everyone's commitment, it can be a lot bigger. Uh, thanks for that. Till next time. Happy mining.